If your walls are a little on the plain side, you might like to add some personality with some artwork or maybe even family photographs. Now you can see the owners here, they've made a bit of a start with a few pictures, but I think we could make more of this wall. So let me show you some tips and tricks to make a gallery wall that's an absolute knockout. Family photographs are such a beautiful thing to show off. To me, it always seems such a shame when they're just put in a drawer when no one gets to enjoy them. So get them out on display. Now, I guess the hardest thing to do is actually decide which ones you want to show off. Now, you could do that in terms of timelines, like when the kids are young, you could group them together like that, or you could create something like a favourite family holiday, but just decide on a theme first of all. What you could do is you could scan your photographs and actually have them printed out into black and white. I quite like this idea because it creates more of a designer look and it allows you to actually cut the photographs I never like to cut originals. So scan the originals, pop them back into the drawer. That way you can display your actual photographs on the wall. So once you've worked out which ones you want to get up, next thing, grab your scissors and start cutting. There is a bit of a tip. If you actually want to capture a section of the photograph to fit within your frame, make sure that you buy the frames that have the matte board included. Take it out and when you're cutting, you can arrange it over the section of the photograph that you actually want to feature and then you can trim away the excess on the outsides. Okay, so now I've chosen all of my pictures, I guess we should talk about the frames themselves. What do you choose? Do you go for a whole bunch that are different style or do you go for a matching style? Well, I think if you like that more eclectic bohemian look, by all means, mix it up. You can have gold frames that go with silver frames and timber. Once they're formed as a group, honestly, it looks fantastic, so it's okay to do that. If you want something slightly more contemporary, choose frames that match. These ones, we've just gone for a slimline black in lots of different shapes and sizes. And remember, when you hang your frames, they can go either portrait or landscape style. It's really up to you. Because this is a gallery wall, you want to play around with your placement before you commit. So the easiest way I find to do it is to actually create a mock-up out of paper templates. So get some brown paper or any scrap that you've got. Newspaper will do just fine. Take your frame and just trace around each of them and then you can cut them out and you can work with the paper and when you're happy, then you can get everything on the wall. For a gallery grouping, you can work within the whole wall or you can work to just one section. There's a few different ways you can lay things out. Now, if you want to work in a fairly straight line and have it quite contemporary and just linear, you can use a spirit level and some safe release masking tape just to form a guideline. Now, you can arrange your templates above and below the line. If you like that look, well, that's the way to go. I really love this paper template system because it means you can have a look at how things will work before you commit to actually hanging them. I've gone quite freeform and you can see I've got gaps at the top and also gaps at the bottom which is fantastic because as your gallery grows obviously you can keep adding more pictures. Now the next thing to do is to actually choose your picture hanging methods. If you've got Jiprock walls, you can use a hook and nail system or you can use picture hanging strips. If your walls are masonry, you will need to get out the drill. I'm gonna go for the slightly less damaged alternative and use picture hanging strips. How beautiful is this? Such a personal style statement at home and it reflects everybody who lives here. All of the visitors are going to love it too. I had a lot of fun with the layout and honestly you could suit your style with how you do it too. Once you've done a gallery wall like this you will wonder why you ever had all of those photographs in your phone or in the drawer. Get them out on display for everyone to enjoy.